BJC Healthcare has, has grown into the largest employer uh, in the state of Missouri, largest private employer in the state of Missouri. We are now 13 hospitals large. We have big hospitals like Barnes Jewish Hospital. We have small hospitals like some of our rural hospitals in smaller communities. We have teaching and non-teaching hospitals, urban hospitals and rural hospitals, mainly adult hospitals, but one hospital, St. Louis Children's Hospital, that's especially for kids. Our Community Benefit Committee of the BJC Board um, is a wonderful group of people, very committed to St. Louis, very committed um, to the care of patients who live in disadvantaged communities. Uh, either because of socioeconomic background or other, other constraints, and uh, are, are, um, are very much committed to BJC making a difference for positive change in our community. BJC's 28,000 employees are our most valuable asset. Um, it's truly a remarkable group of people. They, um, these are folks that get up every day of their working life. They come to work taking care of people who are sick, people who are injured, people who are bleeding, people who are in pain, people who don't want to need a doctor. Nobody wants to come to a hospital. Nobody wants to need a doctor. Nobody wants to need a nurse. But our employees get up every day, whether they're clinicians or not, and they come to work in an environment where we take care of other people. And so one of the amazing things about BJC employees is not just how committed they are to our patients and their families, but also how involved they are in the local community. How, they are in, how involved they are in raising money. You should, you should see how many of our employees turn out for events like um, uh, the Komen Race for the Cure or Pedal the Cause. BJC hospitals serve their local communities, but in addition to providing medical care and services, we want our, our hospitals to be good neighbors. So our biggest hospital, Barnes Jewish Hospital, wants to be a good neighbor in, in, in the Central West End and together, uh, and, and Forest Park Southeast, and together with um, our partners at the Washington University School of Medicine. We are actively involved in neighborhood development activities and neighborhood security activities. Um, we are a big builder of new buildings and development of new land and, uh, and new jobs in our local communities. And so we, we are actively engaged in the communities uh, that we serve. All of our hospitals have local boards. Our local boards ensure that we are good citizens ensure that we are good neighbors, ensure that we are responsive to the needs of the local community. You know, one of the big challenges facing our country and, and, and facing America, uh, and, and even facing our local community here in St. Louis, is the whole issue of poverty. Um, health status is really a function of many, many things, but it correlates very highly with education, income, and poverty, and lifestyle behavior, and genetics. Only about 20% of your health status has anything to do with what we do in the medical professions. A lot of it is dependent upon what you do. And so if we can overcome many of the challenges of poverty um, and get people to higher levels of education, higher levels of skill development, higher levels of literacy, we can overcome so many challenges that are facing our, our community. Uh, not the least of which is the challenge of, of having everybody live in good health. And so BJC actually wants to work with the community. We can't solve those problems on our own, but we can certainly uh, encourage and nurture higher levels of education, especially in the health professions, higher levels of literacy, not just health literacy, but reading literacy. And we can certainly work um, to help everybody to a, to a better and to a healthier life.